and we've started welcome back to alice's talks alice's advice videos alice's reflection videos alice's form of therapy <laughs> anyways um today i decided to be a good idea to film a little reflection video a little video of advice and kind of a question and answer type of video but there are no questions to be asked i'm just making them up and giving you answers to questions about my first year at davidson so i'm gonna start at the beginning when i was choosing classes a little under a year but almost a year ago and i was doing that whole complicated web tree process etc etc and so i thought i would give some advice for picking classes now i can't give a lot of advice on web tree because i am just not good at web tree web tree is not my forte but i will say that for classes i would definitely say go out of your comfort zone and choose classes that you definitely wouldn't have imagined yourself taking for example i put africana on the fourth tree in the fourth slot so that was at the very very bottom of my web tree and i ended up getting it and it was my favorite class of my entire semester practically even year I absolutely loved the professor. I think that this department really pushes all of their students to develop racial lens to apply to all of their subjects and future um, job, career, wherever they go into. And I think that is incredibly important for anyone to develop, especially at a liberal arts school. So I had a fantastic experience with the Africana department my first year i would say i would definitely check rate my professor it's an online service that you can get just by googling and it is so helpful and useful to look at other reviews from other students and really kind of just gauge what your professor will be, will be like and if you like their teaching style etc and definitely ask around to other upper class people if you can and then also i would say definitely make use of the ad drop period so the ad drop period one for the semester starts and then one that continues until two weeks in, into the semester and that is crucial because you can take for example if you want to take the five classes for example and see which one you want to drop but then for those two weeks you could take all all five classes and drop them without penalty after the first two weeks that is so helpful because you really get a sense of what the class is like and if you are interested in taking that class and so that's very useful and i would say definitely take advantage of that for sure and so next i would say i definitely think that i utilized my office hours for all of my professors and i think that's definitely a tip that i think you all should take with you uh when going into your first year at davidson or any year utilizing office hours is so important and being able to get to know the teacher being a professor getting to know their subject and really expressing your interest in that topic and continuing that critical discussion outside of class is really valuable as well as just getting the help you need because Davidson is hard and I would say like there this past semester for me there were a lot of extenuating circumstances that I just need to communicate with my teachers that I was behind on work or that I needed extensions or whatnot and I think that was really great to be able to have really clear communications with my professors and I think that is actually extremely key because your professors really do care about you and they want you to um put your physical and mental health first however like they don't know what's going on in your life and they're not gonna obviously ask intrusive invasive questions and so i think it's really up to you to take control of the things that you can control in your life and and kind of harness them to your favor and then ask for extensions talk to the teacher at your comfort level of like what's going on in your life and why you need an extension or just ask them and tell them that you have a lot going on I think that is incredibly important to make sure you utilize as well. I 
also i feel like another thing is sometimes it's hard to figure out when to take classes and on what days and what will be too much and i think as i said before with the ad drop period i think that that is really helpful in getting to know your own schedule and if you have that 8am class that you added or that you had and you just need to drop it it's better to just like take it for like two weeks and then figure out that you don't like it and add it in the class or drop that class rather than not taking it at all because it's kind of for me I would say I had to definitely get to know my own schedule and figure out when I worked best and for me I'm definitely a morning person an early riser and so I really liked having morning classes and I really liked having 8 30 classes and then getting up really early which i know is crazy but other people really like night classes and i could actually never i go to bed really early so that would not be for me but again you're catering your classes to the ideal schedule like your sleep schedule etc like when do you work for how long etc for me i can insert my schedules right here i had two classes per day if not only one class and that was really great and i think that was really good for me to be able to have kind of a break in between two classes and I guess I could take three classes in one day again, but like I would rather have them spread out than all at once for me. As I said before, I am a primarily a humanities girl. I do not like STEM at all. I'm really not a science, math, technology person. So that means that I'm reading a lot and have a lot of reading assignments. And so I definitely think that for me it definitely was or it was a lot of reading and at the beginning i you know i was annotating every single assignment very metic meticulously and just spending a lot of time on work which i still do but i think that over time over the semester i was able to manage my time better in that when i was working and when i was like organizing my homework and everything i really prioritized like the top things sometimes i just don't have time to do the 200 pages of reading all at one time so I do some skimming because I think that at Davidson academics are really tough but at the same time I think that professors are really understanding they want you to do well and in addition I think that the atmosphere is incredible and in that I don't think that it's competitive at all I think that everyone's very collaborative and I do think that everyone genuinely wants each, each other to do very well and everyone's kind of plodding along on their own path I wouldn't say it's an extreme high stress environment However, as I was saying before about the time management, it's very easy with hard academics to spend all of your time doing work or, or if you fall behind, it sometimes can be very hard to catch up if you don't discipline yourself. So sometimes it's just easy to get caught up in one means or the other. But I would say it's definitely doable and I would just say time management is very key. What I did is I was a morning person i worked a lot in the morning and then i had my classes and then i worked in between my classes and kind of just worked within those small periods of time and that was really good for me and also dedicating 100 percent of my energy to one thing for example studying or socializing or doing whatever i was doing i didn't want to do i wasn't a very good multitasker either so i didn't really like studying with other people i kind of like studying alone and just doing everything by myself at a very at a much faster pace and just in the morning when I could think better versus at night I just spent my time socializing and maybe doing some studying before dinner but primarily after that I would um, maybe do some review or like light homework that didn't require a lot of focus but all of my work that really required deep um, focus and lots of attention I would do at a time where I thought I was the least disturbed um, and at a time where I felt, felt like I could focus best. <laughs> A lot of people ask about how do you manage a social life and an academic life like how do you reach that balance and to be honest i don't have a specific answer for you but at the same time i think that it all comes with trial and error and each person has their own way and i would say that like it just comes with time and getting to know yourself and your work habits and that's only going to come with like experience as you go on and as you learn second semester what you work like where you work best um what you do best and and i would say like finding those study spots are really crucial like i loved the library early in the morning i loved just switching it up going to hurt hub which is across the street going to wall at some points but not always kind of just mixing it up but also like having one study space that a place where you can just dedicate all of your time to just be um purely focused i think that's a very helpful thing that i took with me so you don't mesh those social and 
uh, academic spots. Classes are more spread out, so I would say it all is about finding what's best for you. And if you are primarily a night worker, work in the night time and then dedicate maybe in between classes to socialize with friends, like go to lunch with friends, etc. I think that whatever works best with you, you're just going to have to figure that out by trial and error. Uh, one motto that I would say that I kind of took with me is that I think that this sounds strange, I know, but I think that everything when I'm at Davidson and maybe there are times, there were very few times where I felt extremely overwhelmed or stressed, but for academics reasons, but I would say that when I was doing, was feeling at any point stressed, I, and that was mainly internal, that wasn't like around me, I feel like everyone was kind of very individualized in that we didn't put our stress upon each other. Um, but anyways, I would say that the motto is like, everything is going to work out in some shape or form and you just have to trust the process. And that Davidson students are extremely studious and dedicated and everyone's kind of doing their work and on their own thing, completing amazing projects, research, uh, extracurricular activities in amazing social justice organizations, etc. And we're all dedicated and we're all going to find that balance and I think that kind of motto that everyone is going to be able to complete their academics and balance the social life is kind of in the air and that it's not that much comparison between two students and I would say that really helps and I would say for me like everything will work out all my academics will be okay I will be able to if I want to go to a soccer game or another athletic event or some other social event uh for example on a weeknight or or on a weekend like definitely say yes and that it would all be okay because college is so short and you definitely should live it up but at the same time if you want to stay in that's also very respectable so i think i really appreciate the social scene in that there's no pressure to do one thing or the other everyone's kind of just doing their own thing in their own friend groups or in their own you know hanging out with certain people i would say everyone is extremely friendly too everyone really wants to get to know each other i think that with such a fast-paced environment it's easy to get caught up in things but i do not think that there is pressure to do one thing or the other and that it's totally fine if you stay in for the night or go out in the night in terms of the whole social scene at davidson i would definitely say that it is a small school and people are like okay so like how is the vibe with only 1800 kids and i would say that for me i really enjoy like having a small school i mean partly that's the reason why i chose davidson and i think that also being able to forge those strong connections with individual people is so important to me and i think that you would not be able to get that in anywhere any other big school forming very close relationships with their professors has been incredible um like using them as resources for life just talking to them about like life in general and not even past the classroom topics i think that's been very meaningful for me and then also branching out with my friends and being able to i think that even though davidson is small there are so many other people there are so many people upper class people who you can get to know get to meet there are so many as i said such cool people at davidson who are so driven and passionate about what they study and and how they're going to change the world and i think that's amazing and if my advice for anyone is to get out of your comfort zone go out go out of your way to like say hi to that person get to know them spark a conversation and at the same time even though it's a small school like you do not need to force every friendship but i would say like get yourself out there because and there's no expectations and i think it's so wonderful in college especially you're able to meet so many people have such a convenient place to get to know all of these driven wonderful people and in addition there's no one telling you to force that friendship or not if it if you get lunch with someone and it doesn't work out so what you can still be friendly and that's that i think that that's been really great for me and that just embracing where i am at in the moment i think that as i progressed throughout the semester my friends who i surrounded myself with kind of came to the surface and that kind of came evident to me of who i wanted to stay in contact with over the summer and who i really valued and cherished as friends 
and I think that that just comes naturally with process and with time and so I think definitely don't force any friendships definitely don't force anything and people come in and out of your life for different reasons and I think that's totally fine and honor that and so I think that there sometimes is too much pressure for you know forming those close friendships for life you know college is where you're gonna meet your best friends yes like you probably will but at the same time there's no need to force anything and definitely just take it day by day take it step by step and make make friends with people in your hall it's okay to have friends with, by convenience and let that evolve and meet their friends and you know go and then start embracing other places and other things and other organizations and start dipping your toes in other things and i think that is really great and definitely don't be afraid to branch out and I think that all of that is so natural and understanding that I think that at the beginning of my first semester it definitely was a little scary at first you know going into Davidson without knowing anyone I'm a very extroverted person if you have not noticed but I think that at times I definitely was at times social doubt there was just a lot going on meeting everyone and then quickly I realized you know like I don't need to force any friendships i'm just gonna let it evolve naturally hang out be spontaneous you know meld with other groups and then it's all gonna work out and i think that it really did because now coming off of my first year at davidson i feel like i've really formed great individual friendships i really enjoy getting to know someone at a much deeper level and connecting with them and so i think it's been great and that's what davidson has really allowed me to do which i'm so thankful for <laughs> Another thing to talk about is the food at Davidson. So I was not able to gauge the real food at Davidson, I feel like, because of the COVID year. But for me, I would say definitely take use of all the different stations at Commons and kind of combine them. I was able to really finesse the system and kind of make some meals that are maybe not traditional or maybe not exactly the norm, but be able to weave them in and use the guacamole from one bar and then the veggie burger from the other bar um, and then be able to kind of figure out what works best for me in the dining hall and I'm a pescatarian so I would say it's definitely a little bit difficult to find options but I would say it definitely is possible. I love going to Wildcat Den, getting a sandwich from there every day for lunch and the coffee and then for breakfast I would usually go to Union or pack my own breakfast. <laughs> there are so many amazing clubs and organizations um, on campus and I actually was inspired by my Africana studies work as well as my own personalized experiences on campus to really channel all of my energy into anti-racist work on campus and so I am part of the Pan-Asian Student Association eBoard and I am also a STRIDE mentor for STRIDE, which is a group for students of color. And it's a mentorship program where I'm gonna be mentoring first years coming in. And in addition, I am part of SIAD, which is Student Initiative for Academic Diversity. And so that is a student-led committee where we write letters of recommendation for faculty of color to be on tenure and we write it to carol quillen the president of the college and we interview them we take notes we write letters and we really strive to provide more diverse and equitable spaces within davidson um i am also part of brusque eating house and i am a tour guide and i am part of honor council and I am a patio intern, and I am part of Club Swimming, and I am part of SIDES, which is a Spanish in Davidson Elementary School program, and so that's been really great to be able to use my Spanish and help other kids. And this year it was on Zoom, but I hope for next year for it not to be on Zoom. For me, all of that work, especially Syed and especially Stride and PASA, my goal definitely is to serve as a leader in my community to inspire other people of color, other women of color especially, and to fight for more equitable spaces at Davidson. As a person of color at Davidson, I can speak from my own personal experiences 
in this past year this past semester especially has been very difficult for me i posted on my social media which is now deactivated but i did post on my social media about how i was feeling at the time and it definitely was a very difficult semester but i would say that davidson's community and tight-knit community with my close friends that i was able to really connect with and form a very deep genuine relationship with um some of those relationships that i formed second semester i don't know if i could have made it through this past semester which was very extremely difficult if i didn't have those close friendships and close people in my life and so i would say davidson is definitely not an easy place to be as a person of color in the south i come from the northeast in a predominantly white community and so definitely very difficult however i would say if you find the right affinity organizations and you're able to really form genuine connections with other people of color other people who you really trust and form bond of empathy with i think that davidson can be really a enriching place where you can really delve deeper into finding and discovering your own identity and that's something that i was able to do and so i think despite despite all those hardships and other extenuating circumstances and external circumstances that i couldn't really change i'd say that davidson definitely was a place that allowed me to you know connect with my teachers ask for extensions really delve deeper into my work and and discovery of my own identity i think that was incredibly important for me and I'm something that I'm very excited to be working on in the next semesters to come. I think that this small school is very important to me in that I think that students are really able to incite change unlike any other school that's you know bigger any bigger than Davidson or that does not have personal relationships with the administration. I was able to meet with Carol Quillen twice, actually this past semester, just by reaching out to her, talking to her about my experience and everything. And I highly recommend this. Go talk to Carol Quillen, tell her about your semester. Um, and I know this could be intimidating at times, but I think that it's an absolutely inspirational opportunity to really be able to incite change within your school and have such direct relationships with the administration such as the president is so valuable and something you, you should definitely take advantage of if speak out speak your mind and i think that that is the most incredible that is the most important lesson that i would really take away from my first year i'm so glad i was able to meet with carol quill and i'm so glad that i was able to like get involved in all these organizations that really are very um, that do have a direct impact upon the student body, upon the community at Davidson. I think that is such, um, that is such fulfilling work that I am really grateful for to be able to have at Davidson. In terms of advice for getting involved in clubs and organizations, I would definitely say wait until second semester, wait until you've kind of settled in found your groove, found your some friends that you like to surround yourself with, found classes, etc. I would say don't it's very easy to get get caught up in all of the incredible organizations that are at Davidson. However, it's very easy and too easy actually to spread yourself too thin. And so I think that it's very important to be mindful of that and check in with your own mental and physical health and Really just dedicate a couple causes that you really want to to dedicate your time to and dedicate 100% of your energy to. So for me, that lies in anti-racist work and, you know, kind of pulling out of other organizations or other things that I'm doing to really dedicate all of my energy to anti-racist work and work that really is fulfilling to me and that I'm passionate about. And finally, I would say to wrap up the video, it's a very long video, I would say that allowing yourself to slow down at Davidson is so important because as I said before, Davidson is very fast paced and at times a little overwhelming in that just in college, it's really fun. You get to hang out with your friends all the time, but definitely it's like very important to slow yourself down, know what makes you happy and kind of just take time for yourself. Whether that be for me, like walking in the trails, doing yoga in the trails, doing yoga every Thursday, 
with a yoga, yoga instructor working out in the gym, doing journaling, making time for mindfulness. And I think that's incredibly important and it's really good to check in with yourself mentally and physically and just understand where your body's out, validate yourself and just feel your body with nourishment and love and figure out what makes you the most happy and to continue feeling that for your entire year, Davidson. Davidson is definitely very difficult and challenging academically and at times socially, but I think that the rewards definitely outweigh all of the at times overwhelming things at Davidson. I would say that, as I said before, the genuine relationships, the ability to really connect with professors and really be, become very passionate with your studies and reach opportunities that you most likely would not reach without it being a small school. I would say that the ability to really forge my identity and be able to come to terms with myself and have it be a space where I am allowed to do so has been so important for me and being able to balance that academic and social life where I definitely am dedicated to my studies but am I am able to also balance the social life where I'm able to really be able to get to know other people form very very genuine relationships that I never would have imagined I would have had in high school and just balance all of that and continue to really take charge I really would appreciate any feedback, any questions in the comments below, or any comments in the comments below, all of the above. You can re always reach out to me on patio or by email at algarner at davidson.edu. So it was great talking with you all. Anyways, if you have any more questions, as I said before, please let me know. Do not hesitate to ask or any more advice or experience. I would be more than happy to reach out to you and get to know you better. And that is that. Welcome to Davidson. It is a good day to be a wildcat.